It's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I will be giving you an update of my hair growth journey following my hair growth rituals which included the daily use of my DIY clove spray and my weekly DIY application of Ayurvedic hair masks. So let's get into the results. Since doing the big shop three months ago, I have been obsessively documenting my hair growth journey on a regular basis to capture every moment of progress in successfully growing back my edges and attaining waist length hair. And with that, I wanted to share these images with you to determine whether the ritual is effective. Another reason I am enjoying my TWA is because along my hair growth journey, I am aware that in order to see your hair flourish, you need to keep your hands out of your hair. You need to stop doing tight hairstyles and stop pulling on your edges, etc. And for the fact that this is all I have, there is nothing to pull on. So allowing my hair time to rest and not pulling at my edges or anything, or I'm just anywhere on my scalp to be honest my hair should flourish now to be honest with you there were many times along this journey where i felt like i was wasting my time and i wanted to throw in the towel but then i remembered a few years ago during one of my hair growth challenges that this same feeling had came over me and i had eventually given up but at the end of that particular challenge when i had done a side-by-side -side progress comparison i was surprised of how much my hair had grown so this is why i am a big advocate for taking progress pictures at regular intervals because during that challenge i did not notice any improvement when i would observe my hair on a regular basis so what i wanted to let you guys go away with with that little note right there is that even if it doesn't seem as though there has been no progress i highly recommend seeing your journey all the way through Yeah, so it's been two and a half months and this is the growth I've had in two and a half months and these are my edges as well like yeah all right so earlier I did a video showing the length that I've had grown in the past two and a half months since cutting my hair down to like 0.2 inches but my hair wasn't very much um combed out it was just like in its rough state i just didn't do nothing with my hair so right now i'm combing through my hair to get everything up on a level so that we can have a proper look at where the growth i've got right two and a half months i have to bitch out my edges are dry scalp I was noticing that <laughs> while, while it's coming out here you might see some flakes there but this is about the growth I've had come to the front just so I could get a better name now to some this growth may not seem significant but it is key to note that afro textured hair grows at a rate of 0.3 to 0.4 inches per month and considering that i've been dealing with hair loss around my edges for a very long time due to hormonal imbalances which indicates that some of my hair follicles have been laying dormant for a long time and the hair growth cycle in some of my hair follicles has been disrupted this progress to me is quite impressive in addition to that did you know that it's completely normal for your hair to go through resting phases that can last two to four months or longer before new growth appears? 
Now this is because during the resting phase, hair follicles are inactive before transitioning into the active growing phase. Now what that mean is that it can take three to four months or more before you notice progress with your hair growth routines as this process is greatly influenced by lifestyle, health and genetics. Anyway, what are your thoughts on the progress following this hair growth ritual of mine? Do you think it's exhaustive and a waste of time or do you think there has been some progress? Sound off in the comments below and don't worry, I am planning on continuing to follow this routine for the next coming months to see what progress I will make within about another three months time.